this is a quick demonstration, I hope. Um, and, but it has serious consequences, consequences if you can appreciate the gravity of the situation. Um, come on, let's, let's have some fun. If I, uh, everyone knows what, how the experiment goes. If I have two balls and I drop them from rest, uh, which one will arrive first on the ground? The big one. Bigger? No. No, well, this is as big as it gets. Okay, here we go. Ready? Oh, let me do it over here. Yeah, come on. Let me move it over here. There we go. Here we go. Ready, set. Ah. Well, I hope I can open it on a table here. This is the important ball. Okay, let's move it back over here, guys. Uh, obviously, they both dropped at the same rate. The acceleration of gravity is for both balls the same. Within two fingers' breaths, at least. I always quote that from Galileo. Okay, but is there any opportunity, or is there any occasion when something will fall faster than gravity? Now, that's a pretty imprecise statement. What I mean is that something will accelerate at a rate faster than the acceleration of gravity. All right? Once they leave go, it accelerates with the acceleration of gravity. Well, I have this apparatus here, which is supposed to represent, represent a chimney falling. And if I put, put the ball up at the top here like that, if in fact this edge of this chimney falls faster than the ball, then as they fall, the chimney will part company with the ball. And we're hoping that the chimney will fall fast enough that the ball will drop into this bucket, which should be below the ball when the chimney is at its lowest point. So, here it goes. It was in there. <laughs>